Episode 5 In Episode 5 of Lutera, we find ourselves at an Almoharib training camp deep in Somalia, serving as a hideout for the extremist group. Faisal gets summoned by his leader, who wants to know why the gun he ordered hasn't arrived yet. Faisal explains there were some issues with the shipping company, but assures him the gun will be there soon. However, the leader is not convinced and warns Faisal that if the gun doesn't show up promptly, he'll be the first to die. On the ship, Golra's wife, Satu, finally comes out of hiding because she's going into labor. Vikrant, worried about her, appeals for help, saying she urgently needs to get to the port for medical care or things will get really messy. Despite Barkhan's reluctance, he has no choice but to agree to let Satu go ashore. Using cranes, they lower Sadu off the boat, and she's rushed to the port for treatment. Sadly, Barkhan doesn't allow anyone, not even her husband Gulriz, to go with her. In Mogadishu, Tofik proudly presents Gupta to his friends as his second in command. However, Yakub isn't thrilled about it. When he questions Tofik's decision to trust Gupta, Tofik explains that with Gupta on their team, they'll outsmart Vikrant every time. Gupta also brings a stack of files containing info on Vikrant's businesses, operations, clients, contracts, and much more. Back on the ship, Vikrant tries to talk to Ismael, but Ismael insists on being called Hawk, not Ismael, and claims he has no family in Mogadishu. Despite his tough manners, the tears in Ismael's eyes suggest he's in pain and longs to return to his old life and mother. However, he feels trapped in a situation he can't easily escape from. Later, Vikrant decides to head back to Mogadishu to check on his business and family, planning to return in a couple of days. Along the way, he calls Ajay, who asks for more time due to the talks with the insurance company. Vikrant tells him to act fast, warning that if news of the crew member's death gets out, they'll be in serious trouble. When Desai learns about the same, he suggests involving the authorities, but Ajay advises against it. He reveals that the ship is carrying guns belonging to al Muharib. This is a massive error, and if people find out, Ajay's father's company will be ruined. When Faisal shows up at the ship with his crew to reclaim the weapons, things get dicey. We learn that Barkhand, just like Faisal, used to be part of al Muharib but he got the boot for being too soft and thinking too long before pulling the trigger. Faisal threatens Bilal, saying if Vikrant doesn't show up soon, he'll start dropping bodies. But a bullet in the chest is the least of Vikrant's worries when he finds out from Jamila, his house help, that Avika has headed to hard here. Things go from bad to worse for Vic when he meets with General Walid, who informs him that Gupta has betrayed him and joined forces with Taufik to snatch Vic's seat as port president. Walid advises Vic to get out of Mogadishu pronto with his family before all hell breaks loose. To add insult to injury, trouble brews when Gupta calls Ajay, claiming that the container carrying the guns has sunk, and Vic is just using it as an excuse to extort money from Ajay to cover his losses. When Ajay calls Vic, he insists the container is safe, but Ajay ain't buying it. Furious, Vikrant storms over to Gupta's place and takes matters into his own hands. He has his hitman chop off Gupta's hand with a meat cleaver and smash his head with a hammer, ending his life. The Episode Review Vikrant seems to be in a relentless tug-of-war with bad luck, which keeps finding its way to him no matter what he does. First, his shipment meets an unfortunate end at the bottom of the sea. Then, when he tries to turn this misfortune into an opportunity to extort money from Ajay, things backfire as Ajay discovers the truth. With no guns on the ship, there is no evidence connecting Ajay's shipping company to al Muharib. As a result, it's unlikely that Ajay will pay as much as Vikrant hoped. While they still need to pay some amount to free the crew members, Vikrant has lost his bargaining power.